Steph, not the outcome we wanted, but at the end of the day, a, a World Cup semi-final in the books in front of a home crowd. I guess, what does that mean if you can start to sum it up for, for football in this country? Yeah, um, it is hard to put into words right now and to wrap your head around. Um, but like you said, we, we did create history and at some stage we'll reflect on that and we will be really, really proud of it and remember it fondly. Um, right now, obviously, it's just heartbreak and disappointment because I think, you know, this team is, is proud that we've done that. But we, we thought, you know, and we truly believed we could go all the way and get to the final and do something amazing. So. Right now it's just about sort of digesting the heartbreak and um, trying to move on to the next game because we do have another game and we do have something to fight for. So we'll try and do that as quick as possible. But I think we can definitely sit back and appreciate what we've done for, you know, women's football, women's sport in Australia. It's, it's changed things forever and, um, yeah, we've definitely seen it, we've definitely heard it and, um, yeah, hopefully it's a, a step in the right direction. Yeah, and I guess with that, the crowd tonight, watching you guys go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the European champions and put on a performance like that, what kind of effect do you feel that might have? Yeah, I mean, I think not only this game, but the entire tournament has had an incredible effect on Australians. I think they've loved being part of the ride, from what I've seen anyway. I hope I hope it's true. It's been an emotional roller coaster. Um, it's been a lot, but we've felt them every step of the way. and. Yeah, I think, you know, we've always believed we can compete with the best teams in the world and I think we've proved that this tournament tonight wasn't to be and, you know, it was a game of moments and um, they took theirs and, and that's what it's about today. But, um, you know, we're not going to stop here. We're going to keep fighting and keep pushing and, and getting better every day and, um, yeah, we'll be back. You talk about moments. We did have a pretty incredible moment in that game. If you can take us back to that feeling when, when Sam went and did that, how, how you felt? Yeah, there's been a lot of moments like that this tournament where, you know, you've just got pure emotion running through your veins. Um, it's an incredible goal. I haven't seen it back. I watched it back on the big screen, but she hit it so well. It's just classic Sam, really, just clawing it back and, and getting involved. And um, she deserved a moment like that. And, yeah, she was incredible for us tonight, as always. Um, and yeah, it was it was a moment where we dominated the, the first 20 minutes, so I really felt like we deserved it, and we were back in the game. And um, yeah, it was a, it's a nice one to remember, but obviously wasn't to be, and um, couldn't hold on to it. But yeah, a special moment for her and for us for sure. And finally, looking ahead to Saturday now, Sweden still a huge prize on the line in, in third place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, it's a really good point and one that Tony brought up pretty quickly. Um, that we had to sort of switch our mindset and um, you know we're allowed to feel what we need to feel but we do have another game and we've gone home from you know the Olympics empty-handed and, and we're not going to be doing that this time um, you know we're gonna bounce back we're gonna get ourselves right and turn up for that game and give everything we have like we always do. Great thanks Steph. Thank you.